Design Helper once again. Um, today, today I will be showing you how to create some really cool effects with Illustrator. We're gonna do create shapes like these. These are called Giloche. That's um, the technique's name. I will spell it later. And um, I know they look really complex, but it will only take you five minutes to do it. So look at this one. It's really nice. Yeah, you can do this. It's really easy. So let's go ahead and and start doing this. We want to use Illustrator, so here it is, blank project. And just so you get the idea of it, let's draw a line. <clears throat> Actually a curve, right? Because that would not be a line. Like that. Or any, you know, curvy um, line you want to create. So this is the magic of it. You want to select the shape and then you want to go to rotate tool or you can just hit R in the keyboard, it's the same thing and go ahead and choose any of the points, you see I have here one two three four points it doesn't it doesn't matter how many you have so I'm gonna choose the point and I'm gonna hit ALT and when I hit ALT I want you to notice that my mouse from going black it goes to black and white that's what we want so I'm going to choose my point here and I'm going to move it slightly and now this is you know the really cool stuff about it you just want to go um, command D or control D if you're using Windows and you duplicate it and you duplicate it and you just keep doing that oh I hit S sorry you just hit that and look at that you see how the shape starts to form itself and uh, you know, you can group it and you can rotate it. Basically, you can do anything you want with it. I can change the color. Um, and uh, that's how you create it. Now, that's the very basics of it. If you want to do something more complex, or actually, if you want to do something that looks more complex, but it's basically the same thing, what we can do here is choose, I don't know, let's see, uh, a polygon tool maybe and we'll draw a polygon and work with black so you can see better so let's say okay I have the shape here that's my polygon right there I'm gonna choose it and hit R to rotate it and I'm gonna choose any of the points I'm gonna choose this one right there and I'm gonna rotate it and again I hit alt that's very important and I get my weird black and white mouse and you just move it a little bit and again now command D to duplicate it once, twice and so and so on and look at that see how this shape starts creating look at that oh it's a little bigger here but we'll shrink it in a second I mean look at all the details that we're starting to get just by hitting one key so I think this is really cool and you can get to do some, some really nice stuff with it uh, you can play around with colors. Oh, look at that. See so what we're gonna do here is choose everything and Apple G, that's grouping or Control G if you're using Windows. I'm gonna shrink it and then look at the shape that I got. Isn't that awesome? I really like this. And um, I mean, you see, it looks really complex, especially if you zoom in it. Um, all of this. Uh, it's really awesome and um, again you know you can you can do whatever you want with it change colors I don't know you got to be creative there and uh, just another thing that I want to show you is <clears throat> sorry about that kind of a cold here um, you see you have rectangle a rounded rectangle an ellipse polygon and star tool well but you can still create other shapes so you can play around with it so let's see, I'm going to choose again the polygon, make it thicker so we can see it better, and um, it kind of looks boring. So if you want to create some uh, other shapes, you select the, um, whatever shape you decided to use. And you want to, you want to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, go to Pucker and Bloat, second option, hit that, and uh, you see I hit Preview, I'm going to hit zero. Okay, this is how it's going to show up um, 
and we hit preview because we want to see as we move this little arrow, we want to see what's happening. So if I go towards bloat, you see how my shape bloats itself? That's the maximum. And if I go the other way around to pucker, it actually does the other effect. So let's, I don't know, create like something like this. And uh, it looks like a little flower. But it doesn't matter because we're actually going to change that. We're going to do our cool effect. I choose a shape and I hit R to rotate. And I choose any of the points. Alt. And I just move it a little bit. And now, without touching anything, I just go Command D or Apple D. And look at this one. Look at that. I like the center of it. I don't like this one too much. But that's the fun of it. I mean, you get to do a lot of stuff with it. See? You get that. And um, it's pretty nice. And you know, again, you get some complicated shapes. Um, you can do, I don't know, with a star. Let's see what we get with a star. I get this. Um, let's see. Rotate. I choose a point and I'm going to go like this and I'm going to rotate it. Look at that. This is more simple, kind of spiky. So, well, you're free to, to create anything you like. And uh, as I said before, this technique is called Gilosh. Get that right. Gilosh, you can look it up, and there's a whole history on this. It's 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 used a lot to create money. With because of all the details, it gets hard to um, fake one. And if you need any help, you know my email, and uh, that's designhelper at gmail.com. If you need help with Illustrator, Photoshop, Flash, um, or any other design software, go ahead. Oh, it's 84. Let's not forget that. And uh, just email me, and um, I'll be I'll be available to help you. All right? So subscribe. That will help a lot. And I'll be posting more stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.